presenting a project about the smallest penguin on Earth. And that smallest penguin on Earth is the fairy penguin. Right there. And there's a picture there is a picture of the fairy penguin, which is the smallest penguin on earth. Okay. First, we're gonna start with the habitat of the fairy penguin. The fairy penguin's habitat is in Australia and New Zealand. Um right there, 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 and there. In Ta Tasmania, also. Uh, this is Tasmania. And right there, too. And next, we're gonna do all the names. And all the names. Well, first, we're gonna start with the bird pink one. One of the names is. The fairy penguin. It's called the fairy penguin because it is small and fairies are small. So, and, and it also is called. It is also called the blue penguin because it has blue feathers. And it also is called the little penguin because it is little the same with the first, which is the fairy penguin. Okay. And next we're going to do the food. Their food it is mostly small fish, which is at Dewey. Small squid and krill, which looks like little shrimp, which is that. And then the small squid is that. And the anchovy, which is the small um, fish, is that. Okay. Next, we're going to the sur survival adaptations. Adaptations means, um, like... Well, let's just get that for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so because they spend most of their time in at sea, they have special salt removers so that they don't get too too much salt. And then I'm gonna speak about that later. Two, they put an oily substance on their feathers to waterproof their feathers. I'm going to explain that later. And three, when they come ashore, ashore they quack to keep together in groups. Because, well, they come ashore at night because that's when predators are, aren't Around. And there's a picture of that. And they dig, they dig burrows to hide. Um, it, that's right there. Okay. And the the first one that I left off was they have salt glands above their eyes, well, located above their eyes. Located means, um, like, like where they are. Alright, and the next one that I said I'd do later is the oil comes from the base of its tail. That is the bottom of its tail. And now we're going to do um, a measurement on. The biggest, well, the largest penguin on earth, emperor penguin, and the smallest penguin on earth, the fairy penguin. 
The fairy penguin is 16 inches tall. The emperor penguin is 45 inches tall. That's big. Okay. It is 29 inches different. So, we did the measurement, which is pretty cool. And now, we're doing the predators. The predators are, well, the predators at sea are, um, are, um, large gulls, right there, that's a large gull, and sharks, that's one shark, and killer whales, that's a killer whale, right there, and seals, that's a seal, right there. That is the predators at sea, and the predators on land is foxes, one right there, and also another another one is wild dogs and wild cats, and there you go, the predators, and um, the last thing that, well, the second to the last thing that we're doing is the life cycle. Once a year, penguins sing a song to attract a mate. Um, and there's a picture right there that I did. And the, and the next thing that they do is the mother lays two eggs. Then, the parent, parents take turns to sit on the eggs. Then, the eggs hatch after about a month. Next, the chicks stay in the nest for five weeks. Oh yeah, and before that, the eggs hatching right there. Isn't it cute? Okay, and the next one is, they are fed by one parent every night. And next, after about seven weeks, the young penguins are ready to start life at sea by themselves. Okay. After about, after two to three years, the chicks are young adults and ready and ready to start the life cycle all over again. Okay, and now, this is how small a baby penguin is. Isn't it cute?